Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Salon for All and Voice for All Network Television. I am your host, Khadija Tijan Nabi. Today we get the wonderful Mr. Bla with me for an exclusive interview. But before I get to that, as some of you have been on listen to me audio today, um, having to do with um, Mr. Umaro, uh, Mr. Umaro Napoleon Koroma, when the National Secretary general for the Sierra Leone People's Party for a brilliant statement where he pulled out we I believe saying a statement way beneficial to every Sierra Leonean because it geared towards we safety and security for every Sierra Leonean irrespective of their political affiliation as this platform stands for so many things one of which where we need to commend Good Sierra Leoneans, where they uphold the green, white, and blue, where they uphold the importance of um, national cohesion, where they uphold patriotism versus partisan, we will always celebrate those people. When it comes for now, we critique too, critically con give constructive criticism, we do that as well. With that said, once again, congratulations to you, sir. Thank you for being a patriotic Sierra Leonean. Having said that, and they take me on a pause and I feel free for share far and wide while um, we go on a quick break and then bring bring we wonderful guests for today mr. black and I welcome once again to salon for all and voice for all network television
Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope saying I will like the LXD 
soon as in i know with the try for also um celebrate the wonderful musicians that will get back home so here and there we can play the talent the talented musicians <coughs> them or the one they at least within our possession and efforts for promote also we music industry like I said today, we get the wonderful Mr. Blah. But before that, like I say, we we'll don't commend the efforts of a Sierra Leonean yeah. way. Basically, they promote national cohesion. So for in our way, not being able to get access to the audio, na social media, na WhatsApp from today, I go play that, and then we we'll go right to the interview. And I welcome once again. I feel free for share. Greetings, fellow Sierra Leoneans and listeners beyond the Sierra Leone community. I am Khadija Tijan Nabi from Sarin for All and Voice for All Network Television. Today, on August 25th, 2020. Today, I want to celebrate the life of Mr. Umaru Napoleon Koma, National Secretary General for the Sierra Leone People's Party. Today, I celebrate him because of a bold step we it take for the memory as a nation that patriotism suppress any political party in the Republic of Sierra Leone or any affiliation. It also shows the beauty of accountability, responsibility, and leadership. Love it. On national issue today, you don't serve in the capacity of a minister of inform the minister of information. May God uplift you, sir. May God bless you with more wisdom, guidance as you use your pain today for assure Sierra Leoneans of their safety, especially the one them where the audio was geared towards, which was the main opposition, where it be say that a tendency for undermined peace and stability in our nation. SLPP, APC, C4C, NGC, Unity Party, and the list goes on. We are not enemies. They are not enemy. Regardless of them, Osai, anybody choose for be or Osai, they choose for affiliate themselves. Again, I say any attempt of undermining the peace and stability of our nation, not an effort that does not need a blind eyes, but an immediate and timely intervention. Once again, you have done just that. Again, sir, I salute you and celebrate you as a Sarah You also now don't fall under the category of many beautiful Sarah Leonian, as in the example of Honorable Tawa, and many other women stand up for the right thing. Thank you so much for making people like a we get peace of mind because for the money we truly love Sarah Leonian, and it's a really couscous, and it, whether it's a verbal threat, a physical um, altercation or any form of violence when it is at rest. Thank you so much, sir. And I just come across this and I say now I respond to her immediately and I will make sure say I share now we Facebook room and we go talk about it too briefly. Now we station today. Thank you. God bless Khadija Tijan Nabi. And God bless Will and God bless the Republic of Sierra Leone. Once again, welcome everyone to Salon for All and Voice for All Network Television. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Mr. Umaru uh, Napoleon Korma for a um, wonderful step taken um, for the betterment of our country. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Abdullah Blatt. Take this opportunity for introduce yourself to the world and we go learn to a today interview. Check your device, I'm sure. I'm not, I'm not sure if the volume they're on, if you don't mute. Yes, welcome once again, sir. Thank you very much, Khadija. Um, I want to say thank you very much to um, with you and them. We don't log in for know exactly what we did about for talk this evening time, of course, now and evening. <laughs> yes, yes. So first and foremost, this is not a young man where I believe say young journalism is one that is so attractive. I go put him in that way. Very unique style. Mm. He gets a unique style of doing things. One that stands out amongst I many. Oh, it's quite okay. I See, there, at least dog, you small, <laughs> small of the accolade. Yes, yes. You stand out amongst many. You know the way you they. You yeah. articulate the way they do things. I want to, you know, say I'm one of your fan, and um, you just Thanks. unique in your own way. And also, a, a friend of mine, as they ready for kind interview, he also want to pass on the Thanks. message. Say, 
he appreciate you as well na na a male figure is say he appreciate you 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 journalism style as well the way you do things so you admired by many thank you so much for all that you do so i, I tell them thank you for that yes you're more than <laughs> welcome and we see that this uh, some you know like sometimes the people that admire you so much they're not even they are aware say maybe they are to the point in um imitating you but everybody get their young special mm -hmm. quality yes that is exactly what the other guy said he said it seemed like some people they even try for um imitate you in a way based on the way you did talk but you mm -hmm. are who you are in a unique fashion love it with having said that now we go Thank back you. to who is mr abdullah bala and before you come into um journalism let's get a little bit of background about mr mr bala that young boy you know let will come in on that Okay, thank you very much, um, Khadija, and I want to say once more thank you to the listeners there. Of course, we are them all around the world, specifically in Sierra Leone. Um, also, I have been people, and of course, tune in, they, they watch. I would like to learn uh, any that normal Sierra Leonean uh, grew up in the eastern part of Naputo. Um, of course, I born in uh, Guard Street, number 8 Guard Street, Nakisi. Uh, we pass, of course, if, if you see the end of the Chris Yard, a very popular place, and call it back of Chris Yard, of course. Um, I'm going to uh, uh, transfer up looking down, up the hill, um, around the same Kissing vicinity, the end of Chris Yard, I have to go up, attend the Amadea Muslim primary school, of course, Kissing up here. Um, and later attend the Faith Healing Primary School. For, from for class three, from form one to form six. Of course, like we are most expectant is. Um, in 2011, 12, I've been getting requirements. 2010, 11, I get requirements. And the enter college 2011, 12. For the college, we I do um, mass communication diploma, which I will pursue degree. So by 2016, I will get degree in mass communication and a diploma in mass communication as well. But before that, I would like to learn a person or Bobo, then they will aspire for be a journalist. Well, then somebody will go before impact change uh, in society by way how we will be for talk, what will still happen, and make the people understand. So I start um, from writing to articles um, they publish within my own circle, all my friends, my daddy, the watch, for instance, those school small and ten a day, because you know they get rest in peace. So, um, so now that starts more small. So I developed the interest, say, I will be a journalist. So that even drive the, um, the, the, the intention for the study mass communication, for I go for do exactly what I will do. So I would like to that uh, young man, of course, although not the old small, small. <laughs> <laughs> not even quite. <laughs> yes. You know, you, you know, only a young man in <laughs> <laughs> we, we want for um, get a platform we are able to share with the right. So um, I can remember Ahmed Said Nasrallah we approach approach him uh, now um, president for Sludge from college one of my lecturers Mr. Swari and the Roman Swari now Dr. Swari he um, see the potential in me say I am able to be a good writer I start as a writer, they write. So we are about AIV. I think in the Lago AIV, Lago start for write for the AIV newspaper. So introduce me to Ahmed Said Naswala, president of Sludge now. So we welcome me, assure me, ask for more about the right, and you see them, you ask, you say, if I'm right, then I say yes. So you say, I will be a very good writer. So I start there and move on. So I don't know. From AIV, I go 19.1 FM. I was doing an internship. 2000, late 
early 2016. So after the internship, uh, Madam Asma James, of course, we got much respect to them. We therefore see the potential in me and say, blah, blah, if you want to stay and continue, you are okay. So I've been thinking I needed a platform. So I think I've been getting a platform. So I've been okay. I still want to get from me now to 98.1. So I'm so grateful, of course, to 98.1. And now I'm a black TV online. But before black TV online, I'm mean also the our co newspaper. Of course, one thing I believe say I can write more than the way I want to talk. So I'll be left and take point one FM and we go our co newspaper from there now. The black TV online idea been come on. So I'll be just left the jam. Now I'm here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So now, what was that experience like with AYV, writing for AYV? What did you remember that experience like? Um, just like that young man, we go on to see an article published in a newspaper. So like, if I write an article, we get it to publish, um, I would be happy, oh, the article come out today, yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. So we, we do do interview, come write this to me, write this to me, come on. Just a feel good for the fact that you have to come out. Because right. I bring we want to pursue and by seeing the article being published, you take if you take and say, Well, I'm there, I don't begin. Yes. So of course I'm inside Natwala, resident of Slash. And then first published an article for me in UIV, of course, he was the editor. And I began to mentor with uh, El Castano. And um, then help for shape my writing skills and give me the zeal, courage, for that push me before, because me say, yes, I can do one. Then I never forget um, a very important somebody in my life, in my media life, when uh, the now Deputy Minister of Information, when uh, uh, Madam Mamadi Bube Kamara. And I didn't take me from the newspaper. He said, blah, blah. I think say, you can do something again at the end, right? I said, well, like, I will try. And I like, give me a recorder. We we'll start for do interview for radio. So they give me a recorder. Of course, I'm going to get Sony. Recorder. And the first interview I do inside the Ebola get to do with one document where to cost 1,000, the publisher will have to do it percent for the people and think about the Ebola. So I've been doing that story. The second story I've been interviewed and do story on Diana Konomani, the Minister of um, um, Lands. They will go do some donation and always put people's own and grafting. So I think so, like, you know, I've been the, the encounter the day. So it's been good. I've been a very good experience for the fact that say, you get the disease that could be this pops in. Then people in there around will give you the platform and they able to achieve the potential, they able to learn. Of course, now AYV has been a learning point for me. Most of which are started to like today have come from AYV. If, uh, if the CDC are writing good article from AYV, if they see a report well or even AYV has started, even though at some points they are not been too strong. The age and all. But of course, now I don't hold. I don't say <laughs> at the me, me, me. <laughs> I don't hold now at the what I do now, they make small, small sense as people like me say. But all the time I start na AYV, all the time I do now, of course, I can say na AYV, all things start. So I'm proud of them, I'll be okay with them. And of course, I'll be a very good experience for me, for able to pass through. So beautiful. So great to hear gratitude. So one say thank you for AYV. We basically indeed, as the name implies, and they then they empower young voices, which is great. And also one yeah, say African thank, young voices. Yes. Yeah. One also say thank you to people like Mr. Ahmad, um Nas Nasara, where you mentioned and Mr. Ahmed Sahid Nasrallah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Ahmed Sahid Nasrallah. It gave me late daddy name as well. Yes, <laughs> and, okay. yes. and Mr. Mamadi. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. So one tell all them wonderful yeah. people here, Mr. Mamadi, they all tell thank you because 
part of you um, being an icon, I, I can always say, or a leader, that way you're able for or get a mentee, somebody where you're left with a lifetime tool, or if not even, but you help for pave the way, be that person for help pers or uplift that person. So thank you to these yeah. folks who make a difference in your lives. Now your life, sorry. So now, yeah, 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 yeah. So, what was that feeling like? Before I go into the de other detail, what was that feeling like? The very, can you recall the very first article where you write? If you can think back, you remember the first article. You, tell me again. You remember the very first article where you write? Where we published? Yes, the first article where I write. Yeah, the first article where I write. The rest will do with plight, the plight of. Um, and the uh, amputees by the Wataloo amputee camp by your hold. Okay, wonderful. wonderful. Right, so like the biggest concern, but we think that they go through it, not being okay. So I've been like sound and views them, talk to the chairman, and they just put them together. So, of course, that thing I just to understand our talo, so now be a spoon, spoon through for Musa Ade to them. So I just think, say, wow, these people are here, they might have some things to say or may, might have challenges. I just go there and do interview. But of course, I don't get recorder, I don't get camera, I don't just get book and pen where I go and write, so it's for writing, jotting, and go. So I be, no matter what I don't write this thing, I turn on to the monk, when I be editor of AYB, in his preparation, and of course, general manager of all of AYB as well. You see, you know, the um, 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 picture for this story, I say, I say another story, uh, another picture, sir. I said, okay, we will still publish our story. Oh, <laughs> awesome. So that, was, that was the first story. Interesting, yeah. interesting. So now, there we go. You don't cover so many um, topics then from what will be considered controversial to things that are like um, hot and whatever you want to call them. But I want to we I want to ask you to some of those um, topic then what in a you take or what in a be experience in terms of parliamentarian stand so on and so forth. First of all, let me ask you about that. Um, um, the first thing actually before I go to the parliamentarian, I want to talk about the seditious libel law versus um, another law where then replaced with that. What many they look and say now another draconian law um, where we recently changed um, part of the nineteen sixty five. Um, act. I want to talk about that. So, what's in a young take or experience with parliament and the parliamentarian? And uh, do, do they show any sign that they also they work hard in the interest of the masses, meaning Sierra Leonean versus their interest as parliamentarian? So, now we we'll go with that one first. So, yeah, yeah. So, we start with the seditious slide then with the inside part five of the 1965 Public Order Act. Um, we criminalize libel, meaning we talk something, we go against somebody in a reputation, we are not gladly, of course, if not authority, we mostly then can be, um, it can get the leverage for lay statements for you in a police, and police can come arrest you, we lock you up. So even if you're in penal activity, you're talking at two or not at two now, you don't then a cell for one or two days. Then so my even say, I don't think it's and don't, and I then big man away. It just one for sure is a pass to you. So this will not be the status quo for the past 55 years in a salon. Of course, we've not been born yet. Mukao um, Mitam, we meet the hue and cry. Everybody they say, libel law, libel law for commod, most of the analysis them. Of course, we say at some point, right, um, a point we get to do with um, the seditious and criminal libel law. Because we just they show, say, you know, fine. It is strangle um, free press and uh, it is carry investors. Um, you know, fine for the 21st century democracy way we start with the, the practice. So, like, um, the term with parliament, um, police lawyer, so from the country, no book them when uh, early July, um, this year, now being a big step for strengthening the democracy of Salon. As um, now one of the campaign committee system of the residents now, it's a brigadier Julius Magabio. We see uh, we take power now one of the law them where he go visit it. So from the ruling party, uh, members of parliament or even 
political enthusiast. Then we glad they for say na a goal scored or na a promise fulfilled. As they say, the president, of course, na a top and good president, quote and unquote, as they can say. So I think that that's been good. That was a nice one. Um, different MPDM all support the such law. Not for the guy according to the law book. However, the biggest concern they will get to do with the way and manner how some journalists them can practice their work. So man can do um for say well, I don't get this good or I don't get this information. Be it true or not true. Yeah, just come blast. So man say at the come blast, so man at the come course. So some man can just just take no more for pale um people and name, some journalists them, some. So not train, so not qualify. Of course, some training qualify, but they just get stay with them. Of course, we get a very good one them, and we get one away honestly that mistake they can do. But of course, MP them raise things of concerns them and they advise say this law not for be this law they don't pull now from country no criminally or they could act because library criminalized libel inside the past five of nineteen sixty five for the code act of course. So but it been replaced by the tightening or the strengthening of the IMC Acts of 2007. We they don't amend now for the IMC Act of 2019 as amended. This now acts we like of course not criminalize libel, but if you talk bad about somebody, a Lodge you complain at IMC, they get a complaints committee where they look inside the complaint with somebody lodge against you, they look the merits or the merits of putting the person up. When you watch, if na, you just feel for slander or life on this person or talk to this person about for failing him and find you guilty, of course, you pay money. And by the last um, thing I read from the, the document that the IMC Act now, I mean, in 2019. It can pay up to 15 million loans or even 30 million loans for when you talk back with somebody. If you need to pay, they can even say, well, when they are bankrupt, say you are bankrupt, you know, fit for practice any profession again at this country. We like, they want to lock in a cell just because they want to lock in a cell. But they go through some process where if they find guilty, you know, we find for you. Of course, they also regulate it without forget um, position of. Um, Station manager or editor, we now you will forget paper or like um, um, qualification from recognized institution. Um, the how media house system for take care of the welfare of the journalist them now at least journalist we in a media house forget the minimum wage we at least a six hundred thousand euros. Of course, today you not know, be the so. Journalists can just get ID card, move around, ten for himself. Some, of course, some they pay. But now it will make a mandatory to all media houses for able for cater for the journalists. Them, and I think say that may be step and a step in the right direction. So I think now some of the issues in the one there, they are the um, part five in the law of 1965 to the Act. And Kilam, of course, and Kilam, of course, the Minister of Information, uh, Mohamed Raman Suare, Honorable, been champion the uh, process in the parliament, and uh, even get the support of the MPs there. However, it not become so easily because a go inside the southern parliament, the process for repeal this bill, uh, this law, so the go inside the southern parliament from um, October. December, December 2019, they have been facing some challenge with the, the um, leader of government business then, Honorable CD Mohammed Chinis. So they need the safeguards. Safeguards are like, okay, this will be the campus. Um, the campus is like, who's for a law? Where would they go for serve and who's for like, they for protect the image? or the reputation of people um, a lot of people um, more people who didn't say we don't work hard forget the name they don't get so that being the cause for the IMC amended act of 2019 where of course have been getting a few concerns them where media people them um, in inside but 
you will have the Salon Association of Journalists slash represented by, of course, not a person, to the President, Ahmed Said Nazgala, former President, Mr. Kevin Hughes, and other um, stipular them, as well as big journalists them, and media practitioners them, academics and all. They look inside the loopholes, them issues them way beyond the income concern at the, the um, 2019 IMC Act. I think say they may discuss, agree for this, agree for agree on different issues them, and then they get a consensus. And to me, which I observe in the Parliament, now that um, to a very large extent, the media fraternity or the media landscape or authority that was taken as them, now the media they feel so at ease to get the amended IMC Act for like somehow replace the seditious libel law or you can say the criminal libel law because now the IMC in the Independent Media Commission mostly constitutes journalists then media uh, um, practitioners um, media scholars media enthusiasts or people who get served by the media and then they handle the issue they for with journalists them now like a self regulated arm for within the media so now if something happens with for doing misconduct of journalists now people will pass you like no so if something happens like some of them are the or whatever and they do the complaint to people and we pass me in the media for example they will listen and, and say now nah, this and this and this happened the what the merit or the merit of putting the person up and can judge based on evidence or waiting there before them. So I think say in law the media eternity in a salon represented by no less people and but of course stakeholders the media uh, owners of course scholars and of course association of journalists large being to a very large extent happy say the 1965 Public Order Act, Part 5, Seditious Libel Law, out. Now we get the IMC Act amended 2019. So, I know, say they get some um, connection. So, okay. I will go yeah. to the media landscape as far as I have been observed. By this. So, um, I will go into the into to with the uh, i call on with with that not something where i go and one i go categorically look into it in terms of the imc and see how beneficial it is compared to that of the one with them we just then just um repel but many they look and say again mm -hmm. this imc act is also a major disadvantage to sarah Leon. i don't know what you can take on that because if the um let's say um People that were a critic, they look at things, they call things by their name. If you have media house like that, they can just say, we're not going to um, renew your license. And so it can be somehow of a disadvantage. You do not have to answer, but this is not just some of the concerns we presented. And then it's also alleged, um, because sometimes a lot of people play dirty politics, but people like you, we get credible, where they do credible things. I go like for any kind of help way because you then are the ground. It is alleged that they don't pass the law, but up to now, we sit in president not sign. And is it true or it is not true? Or if you don't know, then that is fine. We can pass that and go from there. Thank you, sir. Come on in. One question anyway. I will start from the camp, little by little. Mm -hmm. um, for saying that a major hindrance to the practice of journalism. Oh, right. People are very right to their opinion them, but what we believe and what plenty people believe now that in any profession of this world or in any sphere of life, you forget rights and freedom, but you freedom for also go with responsibility. In media, we get libertarian theory, we get social responsibility, of course, we get the communist or so. We demand for practice social responsibility, um, theory or media um, practice. How? Are they right for say this ABC? Are they also responsibility for checks later? The ABC are the talk, not true. 
and you know own your opponent that other person um in character or you know go against other person in a life so in as much as we get to write as journalists then we we'll practice fully yes we for express we say we should say which they experience or which they talk you get some evidence for proof so even if they ask you say do you prove this i believe you can for prove them based on maybe audio evidence video evidence or documents that has also been for the comments from that child something or we age on somebody in reputation so i believe say the media could be free but they want to be too free so that everybody can just come in in the in the guise of being a journalist um call somebody name and go scot free so i believe say the imc act of uh 2019 as amended will help for pushing some of the issues and delegates for the come up we have to do it of course um inefficiency of course libel slander and all so i believe say the imc act 2019 um it is taking a right direction because of course if you are a good journalist one and you will be made to say if you are a good journalist you don't even think about the seditious libel law or of course in ongona or the imc act in terms of sitting with only because if you know say what you're talking at two you always stand by what you're talking if any false side will be good defender so you will always think about them um, if you know say this is what they can't talk not to right thing and it gets propensity for person to be named and the person no take a right thing with me so that's it many go of course the other question again yeah before you go further to mm-hmm. the next question many go agree with you say two questions yeah. yeah one second sir in terms of the credibility that is also the responsibility of a journalist like how you say hold oneself where i can always say hold oneself accountable but no matter how good of a person mm-hmm. a journalist is or any profession where you take yourself there are time where anyone is prone to making mistake mistake as in even with let me give example of mr umar fofana there has been time where he been he give wrong um maybe calculation in terms of casualty or people that have become victims and then later on i guess other media um houses don't report differently it come back na in wall and try for re uh, you know make the correction so those things can happen and then secondly we we'll look at back look at it at another hand when it come to not only salon but african politics or africa to deal with it's not like america wearing um in the sense that let's say somebody go get the authentic evidence say then get something like an example of corruption a journalist go get the authentic evidence for serve but at the same time because like how they go say what well, mass mass the the incidents for net that politician they not get up in trouble then it go go at the disadvantage of that journalist where instead go puts na tight corner whether he was right or not so we want look at this both ways or if it's a journalist that is honest that has integrity respect for for him, him or herself we want call things by their name they also go be held accountable where in and go say okay well we no go give and license for any practice so you look at it again not only look at it say for the irresponsible one them because it is true that some people go just use the 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 uh, we career path as say na a uh, a playing ground for them play politics or um you know use them for abuse people or whatever the case may be but like how you say whatever you say like i can say at a self you know you want to say something mm-hmm. where you serve authentic evidence so that's not making story it is something that is in black and white where you they um um i present to you viewers them or to the public as a whole so come back in on that sir so um the issue of um if you be credible or if you be that and this way critical thing will come then you will then wait a minute for the IMC review you like in terms and condition of your life and you will give you that's not just way I would say I just thinking for way some people who want to put in any thing will really happen whether good or bad people go most they really think one way way um uh, maybe na so they think or maybe na so they think say something will happen it might be so it would be it might be so it would be but for now you don't get any of such a thing yet yeah we would uh, say you don't see somebody writing because it be credible or critical you get me yes 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 no? yes yes yeah we don't get we don't get any of such cases somebody be critical or 
they go hard, bring credible information, or bring calm, mind brain issues way hidden, but factual, they don't look calm or plan for no renew in life. Okay, so on the substance, after my query, the act, we don't take like one year, we can go it for renew license or for watch the terms and condition of people and of media house in life scene we complain when we come on that for sure for now i want to say in no, um do it for okay. the stock say so that they get for this for me okay make that come in sir some, uh, some life media for me yes yeah not making clear like go for yeah. Yeah, to the right, right, right. What here they say? Like I say, what here look at my look at a uh, holistic approach. Meaning, I know they only talk about Sierra Leone. They look about Africa. Like here, what here I do, and when it comes to me doing me licensing, I just go on the internet. It takes me maybe ten minutes or so. I get me money. Me licensing is good to go. I get me make. You understand? What what here I talk now? So they know come. They can begin say a oh, question me this and that because I know they insight. I they do what here I, I supposed for do. You they get me? It's different when it comes. Mm -hmm. To Africa, yeah, it's fact that is different. And if we talk about saying that, oh, you know, I'm obviously I know they try for challenge you or whatever the case may be because this is now for open debates. I just want to you understand where they come from, and you do not have to say anything mm -hmm. further, please. Yeah. I will make it clear. So, but my point why they give for yeah. the audience yeah. for give clarity to the audience is that in the case of um Africa to to begin with, let's just give in the case an example of Mr. Saluti Janjalo. He say he gets concerned. It getting authentic evidence then where they back as a supportive statement you understand but whether it presents or not that could be a slap in his face too because now we want to pr pr protect the integrity of a chief minister that's just an example so when it comes to the places like united states or europe or outside of them africa it's a different thing you understand at the end of the day we get th i can always say we get three branches but uda supersede all of that is we executive you get me point so africa is africa so yeah. don't, you do not have to say anything other than that i respect your points and we we, we will move forward <laughs> okay. yes yeah, so now now we um um so I, I like the fact that you you know that even me i celebrate the fact that they remove one but the concern is that um, if I'm free as a journalist living in America, I want the same blessing for Ina within a Sierra Leone. That is my concern. You understand? It will not affect me per se, but for Ina within don't they? You understand? Um, but anyway, we're going to mm -hmm. move forward on that one. <laughs> um, another thing we want to do. Anyway. I know you want to say, you want to add to that? Yeah. You yeah. Want, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um, of course. Um, I can say uh, categorically clear say from 2012-14, where I start my journalism in a saloon. I don't ever get any query from the um, Independent Media Commission. I don't ever get any query from police. I don't ever get any issue we get to do with misrepresentation of facts or anything we get to do with for case even a police or court. Yes. I'm not perfect. But I just want to believe, say, if we put small time in what we do and make sure, say, what we talk um, clear, what we talk credible, I want to believe, say, it will go a long way for minimize the risk for let somebody who will hope you in into any litigation for something we say. So, of course, I'm say the place will be free as a journalist because I will practice in profession when if we put journalists against the right for everything, I will say, without no one after me. And I've also got the responsibility to say, we say not to make people go on after other people. So, like, if we would maintain the balance, I think, say, it would be okay. No, we just have to see, say, uh, we maintain balance so, in waiting. Yes. So, and I respect so, what you like, say. It go come me, back me to what you had to say. Me point why they try for make an emphasis mm -hmm. on you might not fall under that mm -hmm. journalist way they they touch on controversial issue or issue way maybe might be the interest of the masses. You understand? You might be focused on one specific, which is maybe going to parliament, try for get the words of the parliamentarians them, or maybe X, Y, and Z. But maybe there's those journalists where they say, oh, I agree corruption. 
now so oh when I call the bank and I see they don't give that person the the authentic evidence for say if this corruption did went X Y and it, it go through you understand then now maybe that journalist mm -hmm. they bold enough for say okay now I do further investigation by calling this person for get clarity before I do my publication I'm giving all the step in the example mm -hmm. of Mr. Tijan mm -hmm. Jalo you understand so if you Sal, yes so if you do not fall in that category of a journalist who are willing for take that risk or will be considered as controversial or maybe in the case of mr faya amara faya where in sefabi don't interview on a critical thing will happen he literally go on at the site he won't do he won't investigate he challenge them say no i get for no it's in the corner yeah so people will look that as controversial so maybe you are not that type you understand so you will not find yourself in that category mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that it doesn't mm -hmm. exist you get me points again yeah. just, oh, yeah. just oh, yeah. had a look at it at a different lens and i like the fact that you have never been in that category but obviously you do not take the risk you play it safe you try for do where it's like I say you go to the parliament, you go do you you interview them and then you go you do you your um submission, which is great, and you're doing awesome uh, without a doubt, you know. But when I'm looking at it, where with some journalists and they go to the White House, then they ask with president critical questions, then they challenge them, you understand. But they are not gonna they're not gonna arrest them, you understand. When you watch CNN, yeah. you know, then they talk about different things, whether they criticize and condemn them to the T. But yeah. you know, go see them, go serve them for say the FBI, they call and say, No, 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 no. This is things they do on a daily basis. You get me. So it should be free for yeah. every journalist across board. Do I want to take them? Yeah. Um, do I want to take them safe, or do I want to take them on a controversial point of view? So now that's not my make clear. But I do respect everything it's that you do. That's the yeah. reason why I, of course, I extend the invitation. Yeah. Thank you. So now Thank you. I want to know we watch a, a, a thing, then we talk about Parliament a little bit. Now I play one of you wonderful. Um, I call them interview too many of them, but I think I've been able for just kind of like bring five. Why don't we we focus on today? So I they play that one okay. day and then we come right back here. Yeah? From the way the well of the Salon Parliament to the upper gallery been full during Tuesday, July 28, 2020 sitting, been tell clear once the house take in real shape back, where you consider the way how hot it can be, especially on appointment them, where the main opposition APC party not can agree with the ruling SLPP. This time round, Parliament will approve the Chief Electoral Commissioner and the National Electoral Commission neck, Mohamed Kone, after where the president Julius Marabi you been pick up this BNTM for the position. Yai them been open like mountain fat foods, and yes, themselves been open like Coney Rabbit from different people. And we go witness this sitting for no exactly what will be the end result. More so, we a clear say the main opposition APC party not glad with the way and manner how they say the president been appoint new neck boss. This be make the atmosphere been look tense, and among the MP them, it been clear say the battle line been draw. Usai Padino been there na the army between the ruling SLPP and the main opposition APC party at the well of parliament. The APC party has been raised different concerns them. We make them see the appointment of the new neck boss by the president, no all water and the no go grief for them. One of the concerns them from the APC get for do with the fact say the president Julius Marabio not been consult them party before he pick the new neck boss. The leader of opposition, Honorable Cherno Ramadan Majuba, we make this clear at the well of parliament. It is clear that the consultations, we are not concluded. I know that when Dr. Christian Athor, Infa Ali, we are made chair and head of the electoral commission, I, I know the procedure that we have followed by way of consultations. I am definite. Even though we disagree with Christian Atom, but then let President Kabal, blessed memory, invited all leaders of political parties at his lodge. The same was done when Infa Ali was nominated. 
leaders of political parties were invited at State House. That again I can confirm. Consultation does not mean agreement, but consultation is consultation. We are saying that consultations are, were not held, and as a result, the constitution has been breached. The other point where the APC party make as to the reason we make the no grief for the appointment of the new neck boss now that he no resign in position where he been there as the head of the financial intelligence unit FIU one year back before in appointment as the new neck boss where according to the APC party they against the Salon 1991 constitution Honorable Alpha Amaruba where they represent constituency 115 now Wellington at the eastern partner Freetown been read section 76 1 of the Salon 1991 constitution and make the APC position more clear again. It is our duty as part of the government, Mr. Speaker, to guide the government if at any point in time it consider that that government is deviating from the requirement of its book. I consider it's the holy book. Clearly, as provided for by section 76, subsection 1, paragraph B. What the nominee for the position of the National Electoral Commission as chairman of Commissioner Sorry has served the Financial Intelligence Unit, which I submit is a public corporation established by law. And therefore, it is not suitable. The judges of the appeal court, out to this point, must stay to the judge of the As a member of the party, I was a man of I will say boldly and gravely, gravely that Mr. Conner is totally, absolutely, and illegally fit for the society. But as always they be, the leader of the National Grand Coalition, NGC Party na Parliament, Honorable Dr. Kande Yumkela, think other way and according to him, na this situation, the appointed neck boss, not they run for make them vote for him as MP, but na appointment he gets. So the part of the constitution, where the APC link pan, say for all am not for qualify as neck boss, nor all water. We took our time to examine Section 32, particularly 32.4, A and B. We spent a lot of time looking at 76B. We set up a team of five lawyers, and my lawyers are very tough. Most times they disagree. In this case, in this case, I insisted on a legal brief. In this case, they believe, that's their firm legal opinion, that 76B, which is the most contentious issue, in their opinion, does not apply in this case. You can 
months from no. Come on, baby. Yeah, we'll be appointed 12 months where others resigned before just being appointed. Now, there was an exchange here that indeed if we have disagreement on interpretation of the Constitution, we should go to the Supreme Court. The leader of the Coalition for Change, Sifosi Patina at the Salon Parliament, Honorable Sir Emerson Lamina, self been take the floor for length voice to this debate, and in been waste time for make them clear one say, the appointed neck boss qualify for imposition with the President Pickham. Mr. Speaker, members, before coming here this morning, I religiously guess, guess, at section 75, a to D, guess, at section 32, 1 to 4, A and B of the Sierra Leone Constitution. And the leaf I got also from SO 74 yesterday. After close scrutiny of the next chief designates, I come to the conclusion that Mr. Mohamed Kone is competently qualified. <laughs> But the C4C leader, now the Salon Parliament, Honorable Sir Emerson Lamina, been get this for say to the appointed neck boss, political party them, and the president, Julius Madabio, as we forget drink to the election process them, na Salon. Mr. Speaker, I am members. Neck boss, I believe. The next few hours, your assume that office. We are expected to design programs for this country that will transcend without tribal and ethnic boundaries. And therefore, I hope that you work very closely with PPIC to encourage political networking among we, the politicians. It is clear I can sense the Cold War between the Northwest and the Southeast is no secret. I really do not need a sorcerer to interpret this for me. Uh -huh. To win the politicians, we are expected to ensure educating our political supporters as well as our political godfathers to preach unity and love for all of us to the government of Sierra Leone. I call upon His Excellency the President, Itabri Idea. To consider giving financial support to political parties like in Ghana and in Nigeria, to have political compromise and the party to make this journey easier for all of us. On the side of the ruling SLPP, the Deputy Speaker of the Salon Parliament, Honorable Sengepo Solomon Thomas, in debate no more be enough for respond to the concern them of the APC for Sika, the new appointed neck boss, as he say, the question we if they expect the APC for ask now whether the new appointed neck boss get the credibility for the position where the president pick him, where he believes say this point not get any doubt so far. It will see from the argument. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, that the only chief electoral commissioner that will be nominated to this house without my brothers on the other side raising issues with that commissioner would be a commissioner nominated by their chairman and leader. But unfortunately, unfortunately, the constitution clearly indicates that that nomination has to be done by His Excellency the President. The only thing as members of Parliament, Mr. Speaker, Honourable Members, we should be looking at 
is a fundamental question that has to do with credibility. And credibility is a question of fact. The Chief Electoral Commissioner was nominated about a week ago, and of course it's public knowledge. Nobody from the public has come up to say that the nominated Chief Electoral Commissioner has credibility issues. Nobody has said so, at least. All we have been doing this while has been to raise issues bobbing on fantasy. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, honorable members, I submit, I submit that the chief, the nominated chief electoral commissioner is qualified for the position of which he has. The mere fact that we have been arguing, Mr. Speaker, Honorable yeah, Member, is enough to tell you that we have not agreed as a parliament on his qualification. And his qualification are those indicated in the constitution of this land. The mere fact that we are arguing, I submit, Mr. Speaker, that his qualification relating to the constitution of this nation is not within our remit as a parliament. It's not within our limit. It is entirely within the limit of the Supreme Court as provided for in Section 124. But I don't know why my friends on the other side have not hurried up to the, to the Supreme Court. Because if you know over one week ago, this nomination was done over one week ago. If you know you had issues, then I talk. As you hear, Honorable Senator Solomon Thomas say, if the APC get any concern or issue for seeker the appointment of the new neck boss Mohammed Kone, let them go to court. The Deputy Speaker of Parliament carry on for key the argument where the APC party put from Section 76-1 of the Salon 1991 Constitution, as he say, that not get anything for do with the new appointed neck boss in qualify one for imposition after different MP them been debate for or against the motion for grief for the appointment of the new neck boss, the Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Dr. Abbas Chernobundu, been put the question at the House for make MP them grief for arm or not. The SLPP MP them been grief, but the APC MP them not been grief. So the Chief Whip of the APC Party, Honorable Hassan ACC, moved the motion for make MP them divide for make them vote and count them. This been happening, and after the vote and counting, the SLPP. We want Mohamed Kone for be the new NEC Chief Electoral Commissioner get 78 votes and the APC we no want them get 51 votes. We be make them clear say the SLPP win the vote with Kulat by 27 votes and the Salon Parliament been carry the motion for grief for Mohamed Kone for be the new Chief Electoral Commissioner for the National Electoral Commission NEC. For Salon Parliament I on Gla TV online. Mina Abdullah Gla the reports. In a welcome back, welcome back. As in a the watch, that have been the saga of the appointment of we um, neck boss when uh, Mr. Alhaji can just say. Um, now, Mr. Bla, what I want to bring come to the table is that I believe say we go agree say for fear incredible election is all um, fear incredible election is all part of this process. It's, it's all part of good um, democracy. While also um, when it comes to the selection or election of we knack boss is equally important for good democracy. So obviously we don't see within you experience that they day now the parliament and many still the question um, if not the qualification in terms of um, the 
academic area, but the qualification in regards to we constitution, which lies the question or the argument that day, now we wonderful walls of parliament. So what have you experienced on that day? And what are you, you don't necessarily have to answer in terms of you own take of what in, if, if it's wrong or right, but what are you experienced that day in terms of the main opposition, the, the um, members or the MP of the, the current administration, and then with, um, I call them Honorable um, KKY and the other Honorable them, whether it's C4C, Honorable Lamina. What in a young experience that they, they how how the parliaments go? Well, the experience, uh, I experienced a parliament way, of course, in normal way of being now that you know, get just two parties in the parliament, and four, we get the we get independent MP them, the parliament will hot been taking a real shape as a useful take because uh, we get different political party them with different um, views them to the appointments and approval of the new neck boss of course we do now Mohammed um, Kone on the side of the SLPP of course not the normal um, routine any bill or any agreement or something that's for do with government uh the moral or the political obligation of the SLP MPDM for support then of course most of the time on the side of the APC time uh, on the side of the APC um daddy day they will get a defiant um mood like we're not grief for this we don't agree for that things and we think say okay for well, this we don't grieve for them of course, we get the two um, other political parties, them way, the, the C4C and the NGC, we took the line of the SLPP. The argument was the next boss, where President BOP, where of course, they don't agree for now. The APC arguments now that you know that's all the qualification them. And one of that and one of them now that that's you know left as public servant one year before in appointment of course as you see i know we get the answer to that question as even the deputy speaker of parliament we've been debates um, strongly on the side of the ruling SNPP, honorable senator person the thomas then believe say the new neck boss qualified but if anybody thinks they don't qualify just like the how uh, the apc the main opposition thing if we're going to court and let court give them an inter uh, interpretation on that. But now, the day where, of course, as I described at the interview, they yeah, either be open and yes, they be open, of course. They yeah, either be open like mountain fat fish, <laughs> yes, they be open like corner rabbits. I and love like, it. So I didn't know being there. Um, <laughs> now, the army, everybody, they try to fit into a in political view. Of course, the main opposition, no we get much support outside their own party. So we even see a situation where inside the main opposition party, Honorable Mohammed Bangua, at some point we get for left the well of parliament where he reached for votes. So one person so there was minus one at the main opposition. So like you know there is a very tense situation, but it be able to sail through. As the end up and votes and the SLPP, the main opposition, the main, the ruling party, we get 78 votes and the main opposition APC will not agree. We get 51 votes. Of course, it should democracy at play, and it was a good one. The place people will still question, people will still get concerned. Of course, this decision or this city in a parliament we get different order. They couldn't say it did not go over them, not Bokubush, Bokubush Canton. Yeah. Like the C4C party, the, the leader for the C4C party, now we can say the embattled leader, or he's still a leader, but because the parliament still recognized, when I know you could say, Massin Lamina, say the C4C party, of course, he thinks the, the, net, the new appointed net boss. A competently qualified, a user that say competently qualified, 
while some section of the CFOC party in a parliament say they don't believe to the man qualify. So there was a split even lead to the now um, notorious um, the feeling of the CFOC leader. We not go through it because parliament still the still the see honorable Sai Masilamina as the leader of the CFOC party. So it was not just uh, an approval of the neck boss, but that approval is being covered different other issues then. Of course, when we went Bangura, we left the well of parliament term for votes, you know, being vote for no vote, no vote for him, but like, technically he abstained, you know, take no 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 position as an MP. Why? In party question for that. So like what we we'll say you get Boku the that decision did that term day and parliament will get Boku ramification them and as no salon they can come but as term they go in a cold down. So most of what thing happen or the ramification they will follow. After that of course I will say controversial approval of the neck boss, Mamel Kone, most of things will come up, they die down now slowly. Okay, so I think okay now, the next boss Naina Muhammad Kone, I've been visiting Naina Al Haji yeah. can just say I did get a mistake, I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you yeah. for the correction. No, Wonderful. Okay. Thank okay. you. Yeah. So anytime where I get the names the mistake, please feel free for correct me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. you know, say, it's okay. It's okay. 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 Yes, yes. I see the land is policy okay. thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you for correction. So now, like um, it's you okay. know, one of the suggestions we then give. Um, many go say because of course again I know they put you in the position for answer like where I will get an open debate on that with all political heads them um, where they represent the political party then go able for answer but again for speak for the masses while you hear many go look and say in the suggestion of them taking it to court was a great one provided that if we get a judiciary system where they work or a, a, a you know a, a country where we go say not only quote unquote democracy they prevail all but in an example like the MPs them what I mean um take out of parliament where they not follow the due process we sit in um um I call them the leader of parliament so we know how controversial that was so taking um st something to court is one thing but also how 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 you call them how effective with judiciary is it's another question you understand mm -hmm. so it could be yeah. uh, a lose lose for any political party where not in governance unfortunately many go look at it as that they will say okay take them to the court at the end of the day we will still win anyway because now we the govern so we with the hope that hopefully one day we system will get to a point where whether you know you the rule or not you know for big pass parliament you know for big pass with constitution if you get what i'm saying yeah, I get you. Yes. I get you. Yes, well, of course, now yeah. I concern. Yes, now, yeah. Now I concern. Now I concern. We plenty of people run the race. Uh, maybe for the judiciary, of course. Honorable Dr. Kande Yunkela, the leader for the um, National Grand Coalition Party in the Parliament, NGC, he run the call for judicial reform. Uh, plenty of people believe in a lawyer within a power. Now you, they are, of course, you in a power appoint chief justice, uh, minister of uh, uh, of justice, and all the apparatus that we have to do with the judiciary. You can control them one way or the other, either remotely or, of course, um, psychologically or any other way. But mostly, the, the judiciary people believe say they in favor of the ruling party, and the opposition them you take and say mostly. They can seize advantage from them. So, of course, if it can be, people get the belief, and that's what we get. Um, and I ask some people get them belief, then they, based on waiting on the happen, of course, as you um, name the um, case with the APC MP, them, the, 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 the petition, and the appeal, the appeal, then all get judges assigned for, of course, look inside the case or hear the case. And other things that we get to do with the judiciary, of course, so man even believes say if government gets um, interest by matter, it can be swift. But if government not get interest, and so it can just dilly dally one way or the other. Yes. But of course, 
we look forward to a day where on this day, as you say, the judiciary will be independent and that will start with processes how where they appoint the, the chief justice, the minister of justice. Of course, some man believes say he who pays the piper and sets the team. So if the president they they, they, they they appoint the chief justice and other stakeholders them or apparatus them at the judiciary, there is all things for many people believe say the president or the powers that be be able for um remote control one way or the other the judiciary but we will say one way yes. or one day or Absolutely. the other something like this well yes, stated sir done. well stated thank you i want you you mentioned a name here which is honorable sir emerson lamin i hope say i pronounce that right right i know i make it wrong again lamina yes lamina, lamina. Sir, emerson, lamina. lamina. Yeah. okay yeah. so i want to play something on that um mm -hmm. then we'll come right back here yeah? mm -hmm. okay Wednesday, July 29, 2020, the social media been flopped with one letter. We come out from the Coalition for Change C4C Party and this letter addressed the clerk of the Saloon Parliament, Paran Tarawali, and the Speaker of the Saloon Parliament, Honorable Dr. Abbas Chernobundu. The topic of the letter, get for do with change of parliamentary caucus executive from the C4C Party. Women say, the C4C Party want for change in leader of the Saloon Parliament, Honorable Sir Emma in Lamina and other MP them where we don't get position for lead the party in a parliament. The letter carry on for name Honorable Francis Bendu of Constituency 27 na Kono District who will be deputy to Honorable Sir Emerson Lamina as new leader for the C4C party in the Saloon Parliament. Honorable Sir Charles of Constituency 28 as deputy leader. Honorable Ea Kasigbama of Constituency 26 na Kono District as whip and Honorable Combat Commander of Constituency 24, Nakono District, as Deputy Whip. The letter, not being get any reason why the C4C party decide for pull Honorable Sir Emerson Lamina as them leader of the Saloon Parliament, and the person we been signed this letter at the National Secretary General for the C4C party, Koibo Aloysius Fo. Black TV Online been try for get onto the executive of the C4C party, but not been able for get person for talk to directly as the number with somebody from C4C been gig Black TV Online for the National Publicity Secretary for the C4C party not been go through. But inside one interview with the National Publicity Secretary for the C4C party, Lawrence Bolo Koka, gig to Radio Democracy. 8.1 FM Thursday, July 30. He say one of the reasons them we make the C4C party want for pull Honorable Sir Emerson Lamina as the leader na the Saloon Parliament na that the C4C party not satisfied with Honorable Sir Emerson Lamina for lead the party na the Saloon Parliament. And this na because he say them as C4C executive believe say Honorable Sir Emerson Lamina not they represent the interest of the C4C party na the Saloon Parliament. No way, no day where you support for represent the party, the views of the party in parliament, you go and go represent your own. That is definitely anti-party activity. I mean, if, if a party put out a uh, press release for say this now position, they don't get you in in several meetings for say this now for discuss position there and reach that position in day. Now, whether you as an individual agree with the position or not, as long as the consensus. Because in politics, normally, what you they look for? The majority. So, for example, for the president of Sierra Leone, you they look for 51%. That means 49% of the public might say, I don't want this person as president, but you still be president. So, you don't necessarily mean say you as an individual, you get for agree with maybe the chairman, or you get for agree with the national publicity secretary, or the secretary general, or, the, you know, we don't get for agree. But outside the majority, don't say, well, no, now this line we want for take, then you don't come on a meeting outside the party, and this line they don't want for take. Of course, the party, they expect you to follow that line. Day. That now, Lawrence Bolo Koka, the publicity secretary, now the C4C party, and this decision of the C4C party for pull Honorable Sir Emerson Lamina as the leader of the Saloon Parliament come just after with Tuesday, July 28, 2020. Honorable Sir Emerson Lamina decide for support the ruling SLPP, NGC, and Paramount Chief MP them for grief for Mohamed Kone for be the new NEC Chief Electoral Commissioner and not been support one press release. We've been afloat na social media. Say the C4C party no go support Mohamed Kone 
corner for be the new neck boss if you not show say he been a register during the 2018 election na salon but the leader of government business na the salon parliament honorable matthew san Yuma, during this term present photocopy of mohammed kone in voter id card for the 2018 election at the salon parliament we show say he been a register during this term, two other c 4 MP them join Honorable Sir Emerson Lamina. We make them three from the c 4 party for grief for the new neck boss and four other c 4 MP them. We include Honorable Francis Bendu where the c 4 party wants for make a replace Honorable Sir Emerson Lamina. Support the main opposition APC party not for grief for Mohamed Kone as chief electoral commissioner for neck. Waiting clear back now the fact say based on the list for the c party Senate the salon parliament all four of the mp them will support the apc party for vote against the new neck boss and then the c4c party give new position but waiting honorable sir emerson lamina get for say but this decision where the c4c wants for take for sakam from in position actually the letter not no footing very shameful i keep on saying that the letter is stand on thin mosquito leg the very author of the letter you know you know legal this at all for other letter because he's a defunct leader who in time in the expert from the mandate to begin as secretary general letting come to convention we're gonna make a legal so he also commits contempt of parliament is the wrong person for right to the wrong um officials then in the house of parliament so that make the letter I write, you know, no basis at all. And also, no reason forwarded. Normally, when people can send it, I go see reason for it. Absolutely no reason forwarded. Why? An illegal, defunct, expired leader, the rights for the removal of. Yeah, yeah. And I welcome yeah. back, and I welcome, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Um, yeah, as in I've been watching uh, basically the saga with one of the honorable where they represent C4C political party, and the concern was um, interest, self interest versus the interest of the masses or the interest of the party. They accused of, of um, anti party activity. They also, um, there was another um, statement made by one of the um, member of C4C where he gave the example of percentage in terms of finesse somebody become president now the republic of um sierra leone where he say the the expectation of the honorable was to see that it go with majority if even you know agree but majority role so what was that like that day obviously you been there the way you report them what was that saga from the tension from a own political party and basically if the constitution say if you need to represent no longer they represent your political party with not which not another question um when na in again the key or the 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 green light for na it may come as an mp na the na parliament so now if they don't recognize them as one of them many go still wonder as to why is he still there as an honorable Okay, they recognize them as one of them because now it's still C4C MP. I remember the C4C party. It's just that um, after the debates, the approval of the net boss, Mohamed Kone, uh, there, was, uh, there were two um, conflicting positions. The one position they go on social media, say the C4C party, wants for lay Mohamed Kone proves a register the 2018 um, election before C for C for Greasy he qualify. While at the world of parliament, the leader of government business been produced an ID card which you see Mohammed Kone been registered 2018 and that's been to some extent set to that concern. The position of the Leader, of course, I will say now the embattled leader of the C for C party, Honorable Musaya Masilamina, that the man competently qualified and not get, he not get much for, of course, talk if the man not qualify or not, you know, get anything, any bone for pick with or any contention with the man in qualification. So, the, the, he not be against the man in approval. Now, he get to do with why the two position them from the main from the party 
they send um, press release where the leader of the C4C will for echo the press release in the parliament um, seem for go in a way. According to what I'm saying, well, even the press release where the party pool cannot get a copy and not know or not be part of the decision of that day. And not even get a copy, not even know saying that, that the party decide. And of course, they don't see any strong reason with the party profile as to why, of course, they think the man not qualify. And of course, he raised the that I that, that talking about honorable time as in Amina, he put the concern or he put the, 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 the mantra of the supposed party, say country first. He said, and this will for do it a very big decision at the country to pick the neck boss. So he get for look critically and see say. What he convinced, what he thinks he writes, and what he party stand for, and what he thinks he good for the people of the country, now he, he walk towards and he's having conscious based on what he tell me. But while, of course, party hierarchy or party stakeholders and the civil party thinks the honorable side massing amina betray in party, that's like now the what in the purpose, what in the think say happen. So of course, then try to pull them for in position, like they, they say that they review and get a midterm review of the leadership in the parliament. We can consequently after which happen in the parliament, but the of course talk man for the first party when the commission sentry is say not just be saying that because of what happened in the parliament, but because of what they do for review the leadership in the parliament. So like, like that. So like parliament. We see the letter, the Speaker of Parliament, based on what he say or what he believe. He say, of course, the letter not getting the standing and the discounting answer. We like, you know, recognize them, and he still see only Musa Masilamina as leader for the supposed party, and he been useful for. So still, we were saying that an embattled leader because some section of him party, no one time, some section. Well, I would say. One time. So the so letter come up from they him. just hang in the balance with the watch within the appeal. Oh, okay, so the letter been come up from your political party. The letter will come up from your political okay. party, of well, course. Still, the, the 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 first okay. the general line sign him later. The chairman sign, of course. Okay. The same letter. Okay, but unfortunately, the yet still the we the. I call him the lead for parliament, no honor the, the, the speaker of the parliament, speaker yeah, of parliament, and no honor the, mm -hmm. the letter basically disregard the letter. Correct? Yeah, it's still, okay. still yes, yes. Okay. You get the technical issues that way, yes. okay. We will be subject to other discussion yet, right? Got you, okay. So for now, no prolong. Um, I wonder we talk about unfortunate the incident of rape, but I want to play one of the um things that we've been doing parliament, and they will come right back, they will try for wrap up. Thank you so much. July 24, 2020, the President Julius Madabi Obi opened the first ever sexual offenses model court in a salon. As you hear in name, this is a court where they no more for judge rape and other sexual offense case them. This come after where plenty people don't they raise concern them for sake of the way and manner where they say rape case them don't they plenty even though parliament inside 2019 don't give more strength to the sexual offenses act of 2012 where come as a result of the truth and reconciliation commission trc recommendation 398 we say governments for past law where they make them crime forget mommy and daddy business with speaking where they below the age of 16. the sexual offenses model courts gets power from constitutional instruments number no. four of 2019 where give power to the judiciary for shape the high court to different section them as well for able to try different case them from corruption social justice rape and other one them moses lamin kamara now the public relations officer and the salon judiciary all right, and I welcome back. We're not going to play the whole thing because I know I'm only too long. Um, so then I've been the special court in terms of the rape cases. Then I also want to ask you, obviously, we then also now in a day, now they gone. We given the obvious of the social media saga as well with um, awful audio where they go around. What's in the tension, like the political tension back home from your own point of view, if you know and um, touch on that 
please, you do not have to. But now we start first with the special courts, and then we can end on that way, and that is good with me, okay? Welcome back, okay, sir. Okay. All the special the special offenses model courts for it, uh, Salon, um, the president, it's had Brigadier Julius Madabio, long term, of course, July 22 or so, um, inside July, of course. Um, it is specifically for trial matter area for the utility and other sexual offense system. Of course, the part of incompetence, we will been say, and of course, we will been say since 2019, where the president been declared a state of emergency on it. So, like most of what happened, so we see um, parliaments been given more time to the sexual offenses, uh, the sexual, uh, the, 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 the sexual offense acts of um, 2000. And 19 as amended, of course, you do not link to penalty them or do not to the, to the law for bad people and we um, commit crimes to that for do with abuse of girls, of course, women, uh, the community. So the sexual offenses, moral courts, as plenty civil society, them don't see them for help for do not link to the fight against rape and as alone. And she say justice not only be given. But be given swiftly and we send a strong message to people and may be in the act of committing such, of course, a man say, a man need a rape. Of course, of if strong action will be taken to man, then we decide to say for rape no more. Other than they will look and say, well, they will afraid and they will do that. So that be a step in the direction. And I think say people we the advocate and they say we will tap us alone, being glad for that. But of course, they get concerned. One that for do with the forensic lab, we now one of the instruments that we for use for um, um, able help for collaborate, like for able for give more track to evidence to it happen or not happen. So like you know they are the country and this not the not the police system as Bokuru and talk say we tell me for show say for example Mr X rip the brain cam put it for proof say if there blood or if na. Other things they fingerprint for choosing a demand, self self time being dead and uh, do that, then not okay, for present them. So that, that can be issue. So then the call for government for look back. And then we forget this lab. Of course, it's somehow expensive, but if you can get and go up, we will come a new dawn in the fight against rape and we'll make sure say people only deserve justice, get them and forget them quick. Talk about political tension, well. Tension at the go. Most of the night right now, I no smell or see any tension at the for the Cambia as I talk to you. Uh, of course, we do in the past now social media we get to do with um, different people and they give them different opinion them. Some people see the opinion them as inciting. Uh, of course, many of sound them there, and this to make. I think that Some is people, of course, go on the social media as well. Yes, people go on social media as well. Say, and for denounce hate speech, inciting statement, we go send the country to a situation we will find. Of course, this follow the hosting of the president in uh, Mali, uh, Bakar Keta. Um, some people think say situation like that might. Or the tendency for happiness and lawyer, of course, we're not going to sound them views in the correct, um, in as much as I don't use this medium for like, sound them views in the but it just happened just after it happened. Nah, 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 Guinea. So, like, you mean Mali, Mali. police them there, at, <laughs> yes, Mali. Yeah, Mali, yes, Mali, sorry, yeah. So, police there, of course, even though the Ministry of Information put out uh, press release, they want to pull them for state boots. Of course, you nobody know, you know, use any situation for bring calm tension at the country, want to get peace and all. But I think the the, the peace day, um, there is stability. I don't smell or sense any tension. I don't know for Usa, I don't know for now, I don't know. I think say, we are okay and we are good. Fair enough. I want to take this opportunity. Uh oh, we need to hear you. Can you hear us? Uh -oh. Yes, yes, okay, I can good, get good, okay, good, good, okay. Okay. All right. I want to take this opportunity for tell you plenty, plenty thank you and congratulate you again on the wonderful job way to do as a credible journalist. Thank you for all that you do, sir. Take this time thank and you give you last closing statement before I give you, I let you go.
You got anything else for say? Go ahead. Well, I will say, um, of course, the social media they grow, mm -hmm. and we get different with them. We want to make use of them, and of course, the first thing I come in contact with you program, of course, say wow, this is great. Say it's good, and the open space, mm -hmm. and we want to see more of such programs. Of course, at any time where any issue come up, where you think say we need more participation one way or the other, well open for coming and do my own thing or learn my own voice. We are meet together, we say we're all in the same space. We support yourself for all CC the freedom of speech, of course, for opening the media landscape, no broader now. We all will continue for playing your own part. Myself and for thank you for giving me the opportunity for be part of the program and um It'll be, it won't be a tough one because uh, they, yeah. they get a little challenges. Yes. yes. I think so. We'll be for sale through. Yes. And uh, I'm good. Also, the viewers want to say thank you and uh, we'll continue for um, watch or yes. view. Send a comment into Salon for All. Eh? Salon for All, right? Yes. But I also want to know we, we yeah. kind of like promote you on too. Black TV Online. <laughs> Please, let's talk about that before we go. <laughs> like yes. yeah, yeah, Black TV. Like you go to YouTube and subscribe to Black TV. Just search for Black TV Online. You get all the program available. Of course, one thing, Black TV Online not just to do um, reports for Parliament, reports for on Parliament. But also, what are human interest to them? So if you go uh, Black TV Online, you will see other story them. Of course, I can say seventy to eighty percent of what Black TV they do now on Parliament because. What a man said, you forget specification or specialization one way or the other. Yes. So, something like that will be put in a uh, black TV. But we've got other issues that we can come up with, we can follow up. And if somebody go black TV online and subscribe, you will get regular updates. And we get different other things that we will come with. Thank you very much. We are so proud of you. Thank you for bringing us credible news. I'm Thank you so and much. I'm proud of you and Thank you. we'll continue for, of course, support one way or the other. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you so much. We wish you yeah. nothing but the yeah, absolute thank best, Mr. Black. <laughs> thank, thank, you, too, thank, yeah. you, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> yeah, okay. Salon for all, when they come right back before I've given a closing statement and I stay right there, we're going to be right back. Make our gain back again some coconut aid and we'll come right back. Them said and they fixed in them make we wait. <laughs> From where them born we, we day no more, we day way. Just the way. Government they come and go and left we bandy bay. Big D bay. Another generation don't come me sweep and the way. Welcome to the way. You will still not no say na boom bamboo you lay. Hey, hey, you lay. Even though man them here I chirp and all the all in When I say all the I mean all the all the all the in them where they have to not come to give me cherry I pan all the Holy man they no begin them bad bad thing. They don't begin their back party. We are on no left hand back party. Back take on a leg of your party. Body man and no begin their back party. Hey. They don't begin their back party. Now so then go left man and sabi sabi time done. They fail we your party. All man don't stand that his attention. All man want make impression. What see me go say? Watch me back. Look how I becky becky. Tomorrow I own we don't know. Today on the team mona. Everybody waiting for the miracle cool like hot color rest now. Hey, we dey be a no more but in a funny. Hey. Okupa we know no how government they run. Una be say una know, but una explanation don't become boring. If you make a one for sleep, hey. we dey be a no more but in a.
and I welcome welcome back once again I just want to take this opportunity for tell mr. blah plenty plenty thank you we take time out of your busy schedule today for honor the invitation I want also take this opportunity on behalf of all of we Naya so for telling a plenty thank you once again for all that in Adi do for be for see that salon for all voice for all network television they take higher heights and I thank you thank you thank you God bless we all God bless the Republic of Sierra Leone and God bless the United States of America until next time this na salon for all voice for all network television I am your host Khadija Tsijan Nabi bye